The second possibility for making thumbnail is the OpenGL render. As you can see in Blender, you can make some render in OpenGL. You can move your camera, and if you click, you have something nice. Okay. This is the purpose of this possibility: is to custom your uh, thumbnail and make uh, something really cool. So, if you are if you have your asset selected with uh, control, you will select everything. Okay. Yep. I will move this. If your asset is selected, you can name it. Watch. 001. I will select it and control C. And you can add a camera, for example. This camera will be on the selection. You will be in only render. You can choose the background, transparent or sky. The sky will be the color of your uh, background. So I will choose transparent. You can add matcaps to make something uh, really uh, different. As you can see, it's pretty nice. You can add an ambient occlusion and change the uh, settings of this occlusion, the sample, the strange, etc. And when you are OK, you can click on OK. And as you can see, it's really fast and you have your watch in your library, in your asset library, and you have your custom thumbnail. So for example, if I want to change the view, I will make this. I will select with control my entire asset. I will click here, donc 02. I keep the maybe I can change the 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 matcap find something you like this one is not really great I will use this one and you click OK and as you can see you have your thumbnail with the render you wanted you can also use OpenGL Lite so I will select again my entire asset, click on plus, watch 003, uncheck the matcap, and in the OpenGL light add-on, you can change, for example, the render. Okay, this one uh, sound cool. I will move my render to make something different. Okay. I can also add an occlusion. And if I am okay, I click okay. And now, as you can see, I have three different render for the same watch. It's pretty nice. In this button, you have at the bottom the setup OpenGL render. It's the same um, settings, but it's for testing. If you don't want to uh, add uh, an object to test, you can directly use those, um, those render and click on plus. Here on the render button, and you can change it. Okay, you can change everything. Okay, and if you are okay, you will add your watch and you will click on okay. And now you have your watch. Pretty useful, so don't hesitate to use this setting before adding object. And so that's it for the second possibility, the OpenGL.